everybody. My name is Brandon Tillman. This is Evander and Ian. And we're going to talk to you guys today about some of the things that we found interesting, the five most important things specifically about the research article that we had to study that was talking about social business, what companies are really doing. So this is a quick question. All of you are super savvy, and this definitely relates to what I'm going to talk about today. Mm -hmm. What was the big thing that was trending on Twitter earlier this morning? DeAndre Jordan? Nope, that was this afternoon. Wall so, Street, yeah. Yeah. Wall Street, Wall Street and, and United Airlines. And the stock market, right? Stock market, yeah. So all of you guys probably got Twitter feed updates. You got some sort of informational buzz. My phone went off. A lot of sites that had news went down. But all of it got to you guys extremely fast via some app, via some sort of communication device that you all have. So social business is what we're going to be talking about today, how it affects businesses today. and why it's important for you to know. So we're gonna go over the five main things that we thought were important. Um, the growing influence of social business, who values social business today, and that may surprise you. Where is the business value in using it? Connecting leadership and culture to that social media network, and putting social business into action. So I'm gonna go ahead so that you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna give you the definition. I'm gonna read this. I normally don't read anything, but I'm gonna read this. Because I wanna make sure that you all get this information, very important, very important information that you get. <laughs> <laughs> so, <stop. laughs> All right, so we define social business as activities that use social media, social software, and social networks to enable more efficient, effective, and mutually useful connections between people, information, and assets. That's important, and now you know what we're talking about when we refer to social media, social business, social networks. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the growing importance of social business. This article that we had to read was a research study that was done. A survey was given out to various people across different demographics so that they could kind of get a perception of what they thought it was and how it related. So that's where these figures come from. So out of all the people that came back and took the survey, 18% of people said, hey, social business is important today, even though these are people who use Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. But then people said, oh, well, a year from now, oh, it'll be more important, 40%. Three years from now, they thought it would be 63% of the people who took the survey said it will be super important. But that's interesting because most everybody already uses social media. They already use some sort of social networking software in their companies. How many of you work in a corporate environment? Show of hands. Do any of you use like an instant messenger at work? Yes. There we go. All right, that's social software in a business setting. So we know that it's important. We know that it's growing. We know that more people are using it. But the problem is, is that it often fails, there's challenges associated with that. So Gartner, if anyone knows what Gartner is, they're a research company that provides statistics and competitive information about companies. We use them a lot at my job. Gartner estimates 7% of all social pro business projects can fail. Why? Why would you think that? We're all using Twitter, we're all on our phones, we all have this connectivity. Why do they fail? Well, these are the reasons why. A lot of times enterprise software is used and doesn't immediately affect a business problem or a need. They're just like, hey, what are you doing? For what? Nobody knows. Second problem, it doesn't integrate. It's not used every single day. It's not important. I, the company I work for, we use this chatter function of Salesforce, like, and nobody used it, nobody posted on it, not even the managers at my office, so I didn't use it, I didn't care. So that's one of it. And then another part is when a company implements something, <coughs> the senior management doesn't understand why, or there's kickback, so it doesn't get used. So, this is all going to be very important to set the guidelines, set the base of what we're going to talk about. Now I'm going to hand this off to Ian because we talked to you about two more things we thought were important. Okay, so who values social business today may surprise you. Uh, based off of this chart right here, we see that the two important groups are media and IT or you know technology. You know, so for example, like I was putting something on a quiz, like I definitely want to say that those are the two most important factors. <laughs> IT and media, they both benefited from the most, right? As well as kind of a new, like a, a, a cool fact that I found out, uh, the, as far as regarding the sizes of, sizes of the business and who benefits the most, the medium size uh, business benefits the least because uh, it has nothing to promote that will change the size. So if you have a small business, you get followers and stuff like that to make yourself seem bigger than you are, right? And then if you have a big business, you're like Taco Bell or something like that and someone tweets to you, you uh, respond to them to make it seem like you're a smaller business than you are so that you actually care about them. So the medium business actually benefits the least. And I thought that was really interesting. Um, so moving on to more important things. 
Uh, media, media and technology, uh, they are most open to new ideas and innovation as well. They are constantly evolving these fields. Um, and second, they, uh, there's marketing. This, uh, this brings marketing and all the rest of the forms of business involved in that together because you know, with Spatsers in the media, we bring marketing close together, right? Okay, and then also from the C level, right? One day I strive to be in the C level position, CEO, CIO, CFO, you know, that kind of thing. It's, a, um, it's pretty important in business worlds, okay? So anyways, the CEOs are the ones who really push this kind of thing, uh, social media. They push the uh, software uh, twice as much as a CIO or a CFO. Uh, the reason why is because they can see the, uh, the immediate benefit of it, uh, jumping on the bandwagon. As well, um, the CIO, so the CIO is a, a chief information officer. Can anybody guess why they might be hesitant or against uh, making all their information public? I mean, that was basically the answer itself, right? Okay, so <laughs> there is a problem with the C, the C, C so the CIOs either have bigger things to look at to do, they have better things to do, they have, um, they just generally don't see the exact like repercussions of it, so they don't want to invest in it. and then. Uh, they also have a problem with it because it could potentially leak information that's not meant to be leaked by making it public. So that's a problem with the CIO's um, view on it. But overall, uh, when you talk about those higher level people, they, the ones who kind of implement things, 70% of them see that there's a benefit of being more social. Okay, here is a chart to briefly display um, fields that are like subcategories that really benefit um, or that feel that it's really important for social media to conquer the problems. So like, for example, managing customer relationships. Like if you have a challenge in that field, like it's really important, they feel like it's really, really helpful for them to get, you know, use social media. Whereas something like uh, managing risk, it's kind of irrelevant. So those are, that's a nice little graph um, regarding where's the business value. Now the real business value comes in four separate, uh, separate topics. And the first one is marketing, right? So marketing is really important because, um, you know, you can talk to individual customers, you can you know, say something about that, right? Um, you know, it's, just, it's like a more direct thing. Innovation is really important because uh, I guess now in the modern world, people are not, the innovators are no longer just being hired, it's actually based off, based off of people's suggestions, right? So like, um, anybody know Minecraft, right? It's like a huge franchise thing. Legos actually made Minecraft Legos, and it's like a huge seller, right? But that wouldn't, wasn't created until somebody had suggested, they're like, why don't you guys just make like Minecraft Legos for my kid? And like, they did, and lo and behold, it's a huge seller, right? So that's a huge thing, innovation. Operations, um, it's uh, Google Documents, anybody use Google Doc, right? That's a social, that's a social form of uh, advocating, of pushing of knowledge. That's a way to have more resources come together to discuss a deadline, to discuss something, and push that kind of knowledge. Right, and then leadership. Right, uh, we call this um, in the business world we call it, um, marketing mitopia. Right, and that's where a business falls off because it's no longer relevant. So, for example, like Rolex, I guess, like nobody asks for gold watches anymore. Right, and I don't know. Like, there's just a, there's just a falling. Right, there's just that falling. Well, leadership, um, social leadership allows for the customers to kind of steer and point out when the build business is falling off. Right, and that kind of leads. Where it pulls back to the innovation factor because they come up with, you know, Legos is falling off. Well, Minecraft and Legos, that sounds good, right? So that's like a consumer based leadership. So I'm passing it off to Lamar 3.0 for the finisher. Yes, sir. All right. So um, pretty much connecting leadership and culture barriers. Um, so what this is pretty much about is how do you connect your social business? to your company, to your actual business. Um, you're gonna need the support of leadership. So um, these things right here are very important. So um, vision and strong management support, sharing knowledge, you know, remember these other requirements. You know, you should, you should, really, you should really remember these. If you don't, <laughs> you're gonna regret it. Yeah, wink, wink. Vision and strong management support. Um, you're gonna need a vision. Um, you're obviously gonna need to know why exactly it is you're integrating the social, uh, your your uh, the social business into your company. Uh, you're also gonna need strong management support. Um, you obviously, you know, you, you're gonna need the backing of the CEO, the CFO, or you know, your supervisor, your manager. Um, they're the ones who make all the crucial decisions in the company. Um, you need to be willing to share knowledge. 
uh, once upon a time ago, people didn't like to share knowledge. People had a bad habit of hoarding knowledge within the companies because it benefited them. But interestingly enough, the turn of the technology bubble, um, you know, you know, Facebook, the internet, uh, easy access to uh, easy access to information. Now it's all about having the best uh, the best information first. So uh, some of the other requirements, um, you know, it need to be easy to use. Uh, you know, you can't. It's just like computers. You can't roll into a company with uh, Unix <coughs> software expecting everybody to you know jump on board. It's not gonna happen. You need to have easy tools. Um, use incentives. Uh, you need to know why exactly. Or you need to have something that says uh, that'll get everybody on board. So why you know, are we even using this system? Is it going to make things easier? Uh, are things going to get, you know, um, uh, are, are, I mean, why are we even doing this? Uh, and a clear purpose for use. Um, is it for marketing? Are we just trying to touch bases with our customers? Um, so those are some support factors. Um, so putting the steps into action. Start with a long-term vision. Uh, that goes right back to two slides ago, vision and strong management support. Um, you need to have, um, you need to know where you're going you know, from where you're currently staying, which goes into the next point, assess where you are today. Where am I? Uh, where, where do we stand with social business? And you need support for adoption. So, um, and that's pretty much self-explanatory. I just, I, I feel like I'm hitting up on that several times over again. But um, lastly, you need to measure your results. Uh, so you need to know exactly where you're going, what, what, what track you're on. So um, essentially, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, you gotta, you gotta know exactly where you're going, you gotta know um, where you stand, um, what's, you know, you need support, and you need to make sure you measure. So now I'm passing it back to my good friend here, all right. So, as we can see, there's a lot of things that are important when it comes to social business. A lot of things that can impact a company both positively and negatively. So, we want to touch on those five things. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to take some good notes and understand that if you're in a company right now, pay attention to the different things that your supervisors, that your managers, that the upper upper leaders in the company are doing to try to promote social interaction. That social interaction is not going to just be the Twitter and the Facebook, but it's also going to cultivate relationships within the company. A lot of times in a major corporation, we're all spread out real thin, different locations. So our message, hopefully you guys got to take some good things from this, but pay more attention to the way that your companies that you work with, we're all going to school to get a degree. So one day, you're going to see that this can make a major impact. So if you're someone who is a creative field or could have the opportunity to influence your company, be aware of the impact that social business can have and be ahead of the curve. Don't be those people who took that survey and said it's not important today. Be those people that know in three years it's going to change the way we see business. That's what we're going to share for you. That's a wrap, folks. Any questions for the law? Please.